are my friends we are on prometheus which is i'm starting to put together the lore a little bit this planet is called icarus it was terraformed and some stuff went wrong in the terraforming process it looks like so this is the wrong side of things so i've left the shelter that we built before that part of the map is still accessible to us just we're not there right now we have the same character I took a couple of extra levels that offered me some free levels to get up to level 20. So we have some skill points and talent points and blueprints and things of that sort. But I was not allowed to bring any of my gear with me. As far as I could tell, it just told me when I got into my dropship that you can't bring anything with you. So I guess we're starting fresh here. I should be able to get started relatively quickly though with just some of this uh, primitive gear. All right, I have a basic loadout now, just basically the bow. And let's have a look at the map briefly. Oh boy. Okay, this place is fairly large. It looks like I'm in the northern center of the map, so let's try perhaps heading south. My mission there on the left is to collect the simple chip from OES. <laughs> they, they use lots of acronyms. I feel like I'm back in the military. I don't know what any of that means, but... Um, I'm sure, oh, there's a timer too. We have a three day timer. Oh, it does say reach the supply pod location. Oh wait, oh, I think I've done this wrong. We gotta go north then to the supply pod. Oh, first glimpse at the native wildlife here. Let's try and take him out. There we go. All right, these guys give you anything special here? Probably just the same old stuff, but at least this will allow me to start making some bone arrows. So there should be three. The oh, pod. oh geez, that scared me. And some kind of a creature over there. Whoop. You can either take it out or sneak past it. Either way, we need that chip. Well, I have 12 arrows. Hopefully that'll be enough. Plenty. A hideous mutant now at peace, it says. What does this give me? Same old stuff here. Oh, fatty T-bone. That's a nice steak there. Okay, what's in the supply pod here? This is the prototype UDA communication upgrade, which I, I don't know what that does. Okay, next up on the mission is to unlock, build, and place a contact device. That's the mission board. The, the game was just updated yesterday and it released a, an update which kind of combined some of the mission boards that we had built before. So. Back home, there's uh, the same mission board that we had before. It just has a new appearance and a slightly altered function. But yeah, it wants me to build one of those out here somewhere. So presumably, I'm gonna have to go down the whole chain of crafting like a... Uh, yeah, so most notably, it's gonna require iron. So at the very least, we will need a stone furnace. <laughs> Is that literally all I'm gonna need? I'll need a workbench to make the rope as well. Okay, so we need workbench, then uh, forge, and then contact device. Well, I'm gonna just explore around a little bit and see if I can get a good vantage point of what we're dealing with here. This is a very thick purple haze. Makes visibility quite poor. <laughs> How would you like that for a base location on top of that pillar there? That'd be fun. I wonder if I can take out a bird. I sure can. Well, now I feel bad because <laughs> that guy was kind of pretty. Look, I just get to carry him around on my belt for a while. Okay, well, I haven't gone too far, and I've just realized I probably don't want to go too far because in order to get off this place, I'm going to have to go back to where I came from. What's this right here? Oh, some silica. Yeah, I wonder if there's like a mining site. Oh, there's plenty of mining nodes around here. So, okay, this, this seems like as good a place as any. Let's get started here. Oh, great. Now we've got a weather event coming in. Scattered hail. Oh boy. They're probably gonna need some shelter for that. That does beg the question, am I wearing my armor? Nope, I didn't even get to bring my armor with me. That is tragic. Okay, well, we need to do the trick where we burrow into a rock somewhere. Yeah, oh, I don't see any decent sized boulders around here. Can I get in? No, that's too small. Might be able to burrow into this boulder here. Nope, it's an um, igneous rock. I can't get into it. Ah, crap. I'm gonna try to get inside this rock. I'm inside. It's it's working. <laughs> I am sheltered. I'm just gonna wait here, I guess. Okay, I think we're probably... Yeah, I think we're safe. Let's get out of here. Back to work. Okay, I've collected enough resources to make my first little shelter here. I think you'll have to make a shelter one way or the other because um, you can't use workstations unless they are properly sheltered. So we're gonna keep it real simple here, though. How do you like that? What's it look like in here? Oh, it's great. Feeling safer already. Do I think, you think I need a door? Let's get a proper door. There you go. Now we just need a workbench, which I can already craft. Here we go. Oh, I could even make myself a new set of armor. That, right, because that's just fiber. Should probably get a campfire as well so that we can cook some food. Okay, there's my workbench. Can I still open the door? Yep, more resources needed. Okay, we've got the rope. All we need now are the 15 iron ingots. To get that, we're gonna need the furnace. To get the furnace, I need 
80 stone and some more leather. So we need to kill at least one or two animals and do some stone mining. So let's get some storage down. I guess right here is fine. Get the campfire down. Start roasting up some meat. Excellent. Okay, let's go get some stone. Didn't have to go far. All right, there's my 88 stone right there. All right, where's the nearest animal? Whoop, got a boar right there. That will do it. All right, stone furnace. Set her down right there. All right, we're like almost there already. Okay, so now we just need to get some iron ore. Uh, 30 of it to be precise, I think. And uh, yeah, didn't I see a whole bunch of nodes over here? There has to be some iron here somewhere. So the reason I've been sort of thinking about it, trying to piece this together, this game is very much different than traditional survival games or other survival games that I'm used to because you have like a persistent character which you can bring to a variety of different areas. This is coal, that is salt. Okay, no iron yet. So basically we started off in open world. That is our home base where we're gonna, you know, build our primary crafting and um, living area, right? But we're capable of going to different parts of the world to do missions. Missions will make you money and money will allow you to purchase very special, unique gear items. The unique gear items you will be able to bring with you from one world to the next. And I'm kind of dehydrating here. Let's head over to the water. So I guess the idea is we could do this mission here. We could see if we make enough money to then purchase ourselves like a really nice pickaxe. And then the next time we go and do a mission like this, we'll already have an advanced pickaxe or bow or armor or whatever. You know, at this rate, I haven't found any iron yet. We might have to look for a cave. There might be a cave sort of... Well, we... Yeah, we usually find the good iron nodes and, and mining nodes. Whoops. Kind of close to the cliffs, so I'm gonna keep heading this way to the west. Oh, let me out of here, please. All right, I'm more or less over to the cliff face at this point. Kind of just looking for a cave around here somewhere. Oh, is that one of those beast things over there? Like 90% sure it is. Take him out. Whoa, freaking power attack there. This is called a drac. Okay, good to know. Looks like it is starting to get late. Yeah, it's five o'clock here. Come on, there's sulfur, salt. No, this might be a project I have to do overnight. Oh God, there's a bear behind me. Can I outrun a bear? I think the answer is probably no, this is bad. Turn and fight, I guess. Oh crap. Yeah, I'm totally toast right now. Come on. Nope, this is bad. Ah. All right, luckily they did extract my body. I've healed up a little bit and they're sending me back. Looks like our location is close to where we started. Okay, so we're just gonna wrap around north, try to get our gear back and look for more iron along the way. Oh boy, I can't see a thing here. Oh great, weather. All right, I'm almost back to my gear. No indication that the bear is still here, but there's no indication that it's not either. All right, here we go. Take all and oh geez, we oh, we gotta just hope that there's a rock down here I can burrow into or a cave maybe. Go oh, great, that's nice. Came up to a cliff here and I can't see the bottom. Holy crap, what did I find here? Whoa, what is this? Okay, no time to investigate. Gotta find shelter. Okay, I found a little cubby to hang out in. And I just came out of my little hidey hole here in the stone boulder and I was looking over here and look this is where was it this is a cave here for sure it's pretty much at this point it's, it's my only hope for getting some iron all right here we go I'm in all right remember we can get pneumonia very easily in here and there could be cave worms too but I can see iron already okay this is gonna be exactly what we need uh there's gold not too worried about gold right now though gold is just used for advanced crafting. Oh, we do have worms. Okay, okay, I can't really see them either. Whoop, and they're shooting, and I'm poisoned. Okay, let's just focus on uh, the iron then. Okay, I think I have the iron that I need, but I wouldn't mind kind of pushing in here a little bit. It's just that the visibility is so bad. Okay, there we go, we've got worms. That looked like a headshot. I think that was a body shot. Try that one. Nope, just stay clear, because they can shoot back. That was a headshot. Come on, show yourselves here. I wish I could throw a torch. You think that's possible? Here, let's go five and, whoop, oh, direct hit, ow. Can I throw, I can, nope. I can light, unlight, and I can whack. I can drop it though. So if I ran, ran, ran up here and then dropped a torch, could I just go back? Okay, that, that might've helped a little bit. Oh, look out, what do we got here, one more? 
Or did we kill them both? Okay, there's one sack right there. Whoop, there he is. Two more, at least. Got him down. Nice. Oh, yeah, get my my arrows back as well. That's important. Wow, that was, I think, four worm kills there. You guys are guarding aluminum, copper. Oh, some water back here. Fill up, I guess. Okay, I don't think we need to push in too much further. We've cleared out the, uh, the exterior here. If we need more iron, there's more iron to be had in here. For now, let's head back to the camp. Okay, so long story short here, here is the shelter. The furnace had to go inside the shelter in order to operate. The last one was destroyed in the storm. I think I have everything I need. Here in the furnace is are my 15 iron ingots, and then I should be able to make my contact device. Craft that. I think we set it down, and we're done. All right, here we go. This does have to go outside. I think it has some... Oh, yeah, and this is the new appearance for it as well. Okay, so... Interact with the device is the next thing here, and I believe that's it. I can hear a pod coming in. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for this one. Oh, wait a minute. It's giving me crops and tomatoes now. Oh, does this keep going? I thought that was the end right there. Okay, well, give me that. I guess I'm just creating a simple little homestead here. Oh, I like the tomato plants. That is cool. <laughs> My next mission, wait for the tomato to grow. That doesn't sound like much fun. Okay, well, that usually takes about a day. So we have a day with which to explore. What direction do we want to go in? Looks like there's a snow biome just over here. Let's go check on this little... Like, oh, jeez, what's happening? Ah, what is that? Oh, it's that thing, the drac. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go north a little bit. Okay, there's the snow up there. And yeah, okay, if we head like northwest, it looks like there's a pass over there. So we'll just kind of follow the river over here and see where that takes us. And is there a way for me to get rid of the, the expedition quest UI there on the left? It'd also be nice if I could set waypoints on the map. That's kind of, leaves something to be desired there. Well, I guess we're gonna deal with the HUD. Oh, that kind of reminds me, there's, there are exotics here on these like mission maps. When you're in the open world setting, you cannot collect exotics, but exotics are used to, you know, go to the store and purchase those uh, unique items I was talking about before. But I might try to get some exotics while I'm here. The The reason I thought of it as I see this geyser up here, I think a geyser is an exotic something. You might have to build something that extracts the exotics from it, or I don't know how this is. Yeah, place a vapor condenser on top to harvest exotics and condensed enzymes. A vapor condenser. <laughs> I don't suppose I have access to that yet, do I? Okay, stand clear. I think you can also get exotics from caves. Maybe we swing back to the cave we were at before, see if we can finish that off. Oh, I just noticed I'm into the tier three stuff here, but it doesn't appear, I don't have any points right now, so I can't take anything into this. A search function would be nice. Ah, uh, vapor condenser right here. That is in the tier four equipment. We're way off from that. Whoa, Jaguar. Okay, here we have a mountain pass that leads into the snow biome. Not sure if this is the same snow that we have on the Olympus map, or, oh, I like that the purple is gone though. Uh, or if this is some kind of a unique snow biome, given that it's Prometheus. Oh, I'm just looking at the mission there. It also says, complete the rescue mission from Simple. Travel to Daisy's last known location, M. Oh crap, that's way the hell over there. Okay, uh, I think we might have to call off the expedition into the snow here. <laughs> We, I'm growing. First of all, why am I growing tomatoes? Because they grow, they're they're wild. They're like um, just a native plant here. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the thing that we saw before. Yeah, the blue back. They seem to be pretty docile. Yeah. Pretty cool creature. Uh, all right, well, another time then. We, we shall return here someday, I think. Okay, I just saw the tomato grew. Apparently it registers that if you're not nearby. That's my house right there. I'm gonna press on to the rescue mission though. Oh, these cliffs, they're killing me, man. All right, I'm gonna take a chance here. Whoop, oh, nope, 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 that's bad. Ow, that hurt <laughs> so much. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a bear here somewhere. Oh God, nope, it's a crocodile. Oh, that's just even better. Ah, I'm gonna die, no! Oh! Oh, interesting little um, <laughs> drop pod here. All right, I'm off to get my gear. Just a minor setback. This is what I was trying to do before was <laughs> jump into the water. On the bright side, we don't have to deal with that broken leg for five minutes. Whoop, horse. Yeah, my old enemy. 
All right, we're finally approaching Daisy's last known location, probably up on these hills here. All right, here we are. What's going on here? Oh, I can see a creature up ahead. Oh, just that guy. Also, there's this guy here. Are you going to be a friend? Are you who I'm looking for? It's Daisy. I will claim ownership over Daisy. Oh, wow. Cool. Okay, if I made a saddle, I could probably ride him or her. We gotta protect Daisy, though. Uh-oh. Ah, crap. Hold still. Okay, oh, jeez. I think they're just gonna keep spawning. We probably need to get out of here. Yeah, okay, down. Let's go, let's go. We've gotta locate Daisy's owner's base. Oh my god, it's way, way to the south. Okay, let's go. Come on, Daisy. Here is Daisy's base right here. Come on, Daisy, get inside and shut the door behind us. There's, um, somebody's outside. It's another one of those freaking monsters. Am I supposed to be defending the base or what here? Are you dead? Turn the light on. Here we go. We're good. Shut her in. Ah, okay, so my, my mission now is to loot the base. Any good loot in here? Ah, uh, ooh, obsidian pickaxe. What? Bone javelin? Wow, take that for sure. Oh, okay, there's some good stuff in here too. Shaped obsidian, regular obsidian, iron ore, scoria, take all. What else you got here? Okay, the fire pit, I never did make that, but that looks pretty cool. There's a nice rustic bed here. Oh, we could just live here now, I guess. Here, let's harvest up this drac. I ran completely out of arrows. It, it, uh, that was actually pretty hard, not gonna lie. Okay, so all we have to do now is collect our tomato and I think we're, we're through, we're done. Oh, oxite. Uh, no. No, I'm good there. Well, I'm actually, I'm not good there. <laughs> we need to find some oxide. All right, drop that oxide in and let's head back to the base. Actually, I just looked back there and that is a straight up cave right there that's already open. So I'm gonna just poke my head in here and see what I can see. I'm still curious to see if I can get exotics. Whoop, out of a cave like this. Of course, now I have like the really bad arrows, so. Right, anything special in here? Just no, I think this is just the regular type of cave. We've got coal, we've got uh, aluminum, iron, things of that sort, copper, some gold over here. Okay, yep, good good stuff, but not really what we're looking for. Oh, horse. All right, let's just run by him. All right, I'll have to do some more research to figure out how the exotic system works. This is a javelin, which is pretty cool. Just gonna yeet this over to this guy, yep. Nope, that didn't work. How about this guy, a pygmy lop. <laughs> <laughs> Javelin him down. Here's a look at the obsidian pickaxe, looking pretty sharp. No pun intended there. Yep, getting late though, so let's head back to the base, pick the tomato, and hope to God that that's it. Okay, we're rolling up on the campsite here. Should be able to just pluck my tomato out. And oh, just as a weather event is occurring, deliver the harvest to the supply pod. Oh, there it is. Okay, here's your special tomato <laughs> that we've worked so hard for. Now I get a reward from a reward pod. This seems like a inefficient <laughs> method here. All this fuel for six tomatoes. And I got some gold ore for that. Okay, thank you. All right, the mission was complete. I saw that I did get my reward there, my money reward. So I think we are good to go. But to get out of here, we have to head back to the pod that we came in on, which is just over this way. And the storm is approaching, so we are on the move as fast as possible. Guy broke my leg again. It's dark out, okay? It's hard to see what I'm doing. All right, I found it. Here it is. Okay, can I, can I bring stuff home with me though now? Yeah, delete all items you are currently carrying. You can return, but you'll start with a fresh inventory and dropship. Yep, I'm sure. Let's get out of here. Really a pity that you can't bring stuff home with you. 
though. There we go, that's my reward. 50, I think that's exotics, and 250 red. We'll have to stop at the shop and see if there's anything I can buy with that. Okay, here's a look at the workshop here. We've got suits, armor, modules, axes, pickaxes, all kinds, ev just everything. We have everything in here. And I now have 310 red, which means I could buy this bow here, an exotic bow. Oh, wait, that's there's a research cost and a crafting cost. So total of 400 then. This crossbow here requires purely exotics, no ren. I think there's a way that I can sell exotics for ren though, if I wanted to try that. What do I get for 50 exotics? I get 250 ren. I only really need 90 if I wanna try and get that bow though. Okay, we'll sell 18 for 90 ren. Sell successful bow. Let's unlock this Zhijing bow here. Well, research it. Now, how do I craft it? Wait, click to craft. Craft for a hundred. Yes. Okay, interesting. I see, because you might want to just like research things to progress down the line without actually crafting them. So that's that's why that works the way it does. Like maybe next time I skip the Ji bow and I go over directly to the uh, Jang Hu bow. Okay, now we want to load up the open world. What's the difference here? Okay, oh, this is sticks. I think I, I jumped into sticks at one point and Olympus. That's where we live. So we're gonna join back the Olympus world here and I can Wait, I can bring my new bow into the dropship cargo I suppose is how this is gonna work confirm loadout and we should be back back at Olympus now All right, we've made landfall here we go, what time is it? It's kind of late, actually. Where am I? I'm actually where I was before, so over here- Oh, great. I made the really wise decision of putting all of my inventory items in a box before I left. So, like, my, my hammer, my axe, everything. But I don't know if that box is still here, because it was unsheltered. And I can't see now. Oh, great. We're gonna need a torch. Oh, and there's a weather event incoming. Lovely. Okay, just wind, though. That's not too bad. All right, well, if I look hard enough, I, I should be able to find that box before it gets damaged enough so that it breaks. Oh, I found it! Yes, it's right here. The box did break, but the uh, the pile of stuff was, was there. I was just about, like, one second away from giving up, too. All right, um, I do have the, the new bow here in my hand. It works pretty well. I shot a wolf with it already, uh, but it's too dark. I'm just gonna go home and kind of reset. We got quite a hike to get there too. Oh geez, you scared the crap out of me. Wow, <laughs> he's fully grown. Oh, he, he grew up while we were gone. That's awesome. I will claim ownership over you. And I selected a name at random, and the name for this guy will be Kirikaze. Welcome to the crew, Kirikaze. Can I now put the saddle on you? That is the question. Where? Oh, boy. Yeah, I think I lost the saddle in the rocket ship exchange thing. Nope. I put it into the workshop workbench thing. There it is. Okay, so access the inventory, drop on the saddle, and oh my god, we have a mount. Can you, can we exit here or is this gonna be an issue? Ah, there we go. Oh, that is going to help out a lot. Oh crap, we're fighting another one. Come on, Kiri, you can do it. You know what, I'm just gonna do this myself. <laughs> it's a lot easier that way. Good stuff, oh crap. Help, ow. Okay, so you, this is awesome. So this guy has, I think inventory capacity so we can help us carry stuff if we were out mining or something and our movement speed is a lot better with him He does still require food and water though. Okay. Well, hopefully you'll feed yourself when you're hungry Is there? Yeah, there's still some food and water over here for you. <laughs> Come on in buddy. There's plenty of room in here Okay, that turned out to be quite an adventure and all, well, I wouldn't say all we got. We got a nice bow out of the whole ordeal and a couple of levels to boot. So all in all, I'd say that was a pretty big win. But I do think I'm gonna leave things off here in the next one. I think we'll do some further base construction. I did unlock a whole bunch of stuff. So at one point I sat down and I spent like, um, I don't know, it was like eight blueprint points and we have a whole bunch, oh, look into this machining bench. We could unlock that. Oxygen tank, fire extinguisher. Cement mixer, okay, we can unlock that. Alteration bench, this is for putting mods on your gear, so maybe we get 
uh, one of those, or, oh my god, we can get a concrete furnace. Oh, this allows us to smelt things into steel, which we then can go back into tier two and unlock the steel gear here. Plus there's obsidian. I haven't even seen where you get obsidian yet. Okay, I'll save, oh, forge right there. Yeah, okay. So in the next one, Later on today, we're gonna be getting into the heavy industry stuff, machining, steel forging, and there's also some interior stuff that I wanted to look at. They are, it's like carved wooden furniture. There might be a special bench for this. I've got the cooking station, I need to make that, the carpentry bench, the skinning bench. You gotta make the machining bench. Okay, so we'll have a big construction episode next time. I hope you'll join me for that. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you hopefully in the next video. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.